Hello and welcome to Crazy Singing. My name is Mark and I'm covering every singer in the world and their craziest vocals. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe to the channel. Today we have Phil Anselmo from Pantera and Dear God. Those are some of the craziest screams I have ever heard while researching any singer for this channel actually. So get ready. But before we get into the insane screams, have you noticed how incredibly amazing Phil's low voice is? It sounds so warm and full. It is absolutely spectacular. Isn't that just absolutely incredible? These low notes come from a laryngeal mechanism called M0, which is the one that can provide the lowest frequencies of the human voice. But Phil was definitely able to reach the highest frequencies too, like on spot number 4. <laughs> How absurdly powerful is that he's reaching insane highs while taking something from our previous spot though? While different laryngeal configurations can be mixed no matter what they tell you, Phil is actually able to emulate a feature from the M0 register and place that onto the more common singing mechanisms like M1 or M2, therefore achieving these insanely powerful screams which only get crazier on spot number 3. just amazing. Too quickly on this list and he's already achieving things that are remarkable. So it's hard to believe we have two more spots left and he will go even crazier. But trust me, he will go a lot crazier. Here Phil has touched an A5 and note that would be even difficult for a female soprano singer. For reference, the extremely famous opera singer Marilyn Horn stated that the highest possible pitch at which a soprano can sing decent pure vowels and words is a G5, then diction becomes extremely complicated. So even the highest female voice type starts facing some struggles after a G5, and here Phil, while not concerned about diction, is going two semitones higher than a G5. This is absolutely remarkable. But he barely touched the A5, surely he cannot go this high and sustain it for long, right? Well my friends, take a listen at spot number one. A vocal line so difficult and fierce that Phil Anselmo himself said he couldn't sing it anymore, even if he wanted, which he doesn't. The actual inventor of the first laryngoscope, famous baritone Manuel Garcia, stated that the chest male voice extends to around an E-flat 4 for baritones, and here Phil is going 17 semitones higher than this, while still preserving a tone that's definitely not falsetto, although his technique is definitely based on M2. Remember to subscribe if you love insane vocals.